Okay, now that you've got your account set up, let's take a look at the main dashboard features and how you can move around in here. We have three folders for active promotions, draft promotions, and old or expired promotions. You can search through your promotions by promotion type, by the organizing brand, the date of creation or time band, and you can search by title or ID of the promotion. There's also a tag system that you can search by as well. At the top of your account, you can drop down your under your name and you can see your profile, your corporate information invoices, plans, and under utilities, there are resources like organizing brands where you can create additional brands that you're managing, work with your labels. Uh, you can create dictionaries to change system texts in the campaigns, and you can uh, access the blacklist tool. You can use the terms and conditions tool, which allows you to create your own terms and conditions, the link for a campaign like a Instagram or Facebook giveaway. And then there's something called promotions groups we'll go into later templates, which I'll show you in just a moment, and a few other sections in here. Now, when you create a promotion, click on New Promotion here, and you can select among templates. We have a library in here. You just click in here, and you can uh, scroll through and sort through and filter through different template styles, or you can pick one of the current templates, and you can start from scratch. Now, if you create any contest from these menus. If I click into memory game, for example, I'll select my organizing brand that I've set up, and then I'll select the plan that I'm working with, and I'll click continue, and that'll create a campaign that I can then work with. So look, now it's your turn. We invite you to create a campaign, and if you have questions, we're here. Reach out. We'll be happy to help.